I am Zermina and my partner, she is uh, Mastura. Uh, we are a partner, we are a member of the Zafaron Group. And the Zafaron Group has started working uh, since 2019, but uh, we stopped for a while we have coronavirus, but we restarted in the end of 2020. And the Zafaran food is um, especially from Afghanistan and the, it shows the culture, tradition and food. Uh, yes, uh, and also it is fresh. We prepare fresh and organic and uh, nothing else, just it is a little bit information about our uh, business, our catering business. Yes, we are four, four women. Yes, we work together. Um, can you uh, Hi, everyone. This is Mastura, and I'm a member of Zafaron Afghan Cuisine. Uh, we are working together and for um, Pittsburgh people to, uh, they love maybe our food or not. <laughs> And so, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. And thank you so much for, for uh, choose our company to cater your event tonight. We are so happy for that. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you and enjoy the food. Thank you so much. Again, if you just came, my name is John Rubin. I'm a uh, professor in the School of Art and I've been working with Habib Sarosh, um, who recently joined us as a visiting scholar and the School of Art. And I'm gonna let um, Habis, Habib introduce himself. We also tonight have uh, Rosebe, who's going to do some uh, interpretation from Dari to English uh, when needed. So Habib, introduce Hello, everyone. I'm Habib Surush Hasso. I'm Habib Surush. Muddat de dah sol o sot dar danishkoi Kabul budom va dar fakultahay uh, هنرهای زیبا uh, ژورنالیسم و ادبیات تدریس می‌کردم um, I have been teaching for 10 years in a different department um, at the University of uh, Kabul ژورنالیسم um, uh, 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 journalism. literature and faculty of fine arts uh, journalism literature and faculty of fine arts I think it is English. I just repeat it. Sorry. And in this period, that ten years that I was in the University of Kabul, I was faced with many challenges. I was faced with the fact that I was in the United States for ten years. I was faced with the feeling of exclusion. In these ten years, um, I had um, a lot of problems at the university and the 30 years in Afghanistan, I was feeling homeless. And this feeling that uh, as I came to Pittsburgh, this feeling is gone, and I feel um, like home, even if I'm not if I'm, I'm not in the country, in my country, but because of the Carnegie Mellon and all the teachers over here and all the kind people around me in Pittsburgh, I don't feel alone. I want to be in film سه آهنگ برای بینظیر فقط صحبت میکنم خلاصه داستان نمیگیم که یک از شرایطش هست که نباید پیش از دیدن فیلم داستان را لو بده I will um, talk about uh, three, three songs for Benazir um, I just give a little bit information but I will not uh, speak about the film itself because um, I don't want to uh, destroyed, like uh, I want to, you to see it. Uh, uh, the, the, the film for um, Three Songs for Benazir was uh, made by 
Gulistan Mirzai and um, Elizabeth Mirzai, and I will say hello to them, and I have a lot of respect to them. I'm honored to be here. Um, I myself is honored. It is, it is, it is very, very uh, important for all of us. گلستان مرزایی زاده پنشیر افغانستان است و الیزابت اهل پنسلوانی است. آقای گلستان، مستر گلستانی از فرام پنشیر پروینس این افغانستان و الیزابت از فرام پنسلوانیا، فرام دیس پروینس. اما فیلم سه آهنگ برای بی نظیر یکی از مؤثرترین و تحصیل گذارترین فیلم در تاریخ سینمای مستند افغانستان محسوب میشه. And the uh, three songs for Benazir is uh, considered is, uh, as one of the best documentary um, film in the history of Afghanistan. و این فیلم در سال 2022 نامزد اسکار شد. This film was nominated for Oscar in 2022. Uh, و در اخیر فیلم من دوست دارم وقتی که میگیم که این فیلم یکی از شهکارهای سینمای افغانستان محسوب میشه خود بحث کردیم که ما چرا چنین ادعای را دارم so when i say it is one of the best and one of the um, uh, the best film in uh, in the history of afghanistan after the, at the end of the film i have my all um, all my uh, uh, logic and all my um, information of why it is one of the best documentaries in uh, history of Afghanistan. و در اخیر من سپاسگزاری میکنم از تمام اعضای کارنگی میلون از دو سوپروایزر من جناب جان روبن و ویندی الکس و تمام جامعه کارنگی میلون و همچنان اسپانسرای این برنامه و نهایت خوشحال هستم که چنین فرصت به من داده شده و من در مقابل شما بزرگان حرف بزنم. I do appreciate and would like to thank from the bottom of my heart from the Carnegie Mellon community and specifically the two professors that, uh, that helped me through the process and I am uh, really thankful to, to the Carnegie Mellon. Ah, thank you. Thank you. جان روبن در ارتباط با گلستان میگه بیشتر صحبت بکنید ما شب گذشته تماس با جناب گلستان مرزایی داشتم I had a meeting with گلستان مرزایی last night I had the opportunity to talk to him و دقیقا از ایشان سوال کردم که چرا شما شایسته خان اما شخصیت اصلی رو انتخاب کردید and I asked her specifically why you choose Chaista as the main character for the documentary. And she said that um, he, he had very logical um, uh, information and logical uh, logical um, proof that to choose Shaista as a uh, main character. And he said that I was a, an immigrant in Iran and I understand immigration. And <laughs> And it is very um, important. Helmand province is one of the province in Afghanistan. And it is, uh, Shaista was forced from his country, from his province to move to a different province. So he was forced to mig migrate from Helmand to Kabul. So it is very difficult to be uh, a uh, an immigrant in your country. Uh, well, جناب گلستان هم امی تجربه مهاجرت را داشته و امی سختی های مهاجرت را داشته و خیلی زود همزاد پنداری با شایسته میکنه. And uh, Mr. Gulistan uh, has the experience of uh, being a, a, an immigrant and he understands fully how 
Shaista was, what was the concern with Shaista and how he was feeling. So he was the same as Shaista because he was an immigrant. و گلستان فیلم های متعدد دیگه البته در بخش مستند این کارگردانی کرده که از مهمترین فیلم بلندش که یک ساعت و سی و هفت دقیقه هست نوود هفت دقیقه نوود هفت دقیقه هست که لیلا روی پول یک فیلم بسیار زیبای مستند است که جوایز خیلی زیاد را کسب کرده And Mr. Uh, Gulistan has directed a, a number of films, one of his high-end and very, um, a very good film, and uh, the best film was One Hour and, uh, and 97 uh, Minutes. That no. was... Uh, no, 97 minutes it is the uh, time of film. 97 minutes is the time of film, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> و ما می که در اخیر بگویم که فیلم سه آهنگ برای بینظیر سیزده جوایز معتبر بین المللی کسب کرده And the three songs for Benazir has uh, awarded of 13 uh, important um, awards uh, Thank you so much Revit. Thank you um, Just to uh, Got it. Uh, before we, we move on, I just want to thank our sponsors for the event. Uh, the Center for Arts and Society, the Kim and Eric Giller Humanities Lecture Fund, the CMU Sustainability Initiative. Um, I want to be a big thank you to Alex Hineker, who works here at the school, who was incredibly instrumental in getting Habib and his family here. Um, the Humanities Scholars Program and the, the Studio for Creative Inquiry. Um, I'd like to ask Elizabeth and Golestan, can you hear us? Yes, can we hear them? Yes, yes, yes we can hear you. Ah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can you just give us a brief introduction to the film and, um, and to yourselves? And then after we watch, we can obviously ask more questions. Sure. Yeah, my name is Golestan Mirzai. I'm the director and producer for Three Songs for Benazir. And I'm Elizabeth Mirzai, also director, producer, and a cinematographer for Three Songs for Benazir. I'm very happy to be here to share uh, my uh, film about my country uh, with you. And um, I also happy to speak with my, uh, to speak with my uh, fellow countryman, or Batandar, uh, Habib Sorosh. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're really excited to, to be here and um, thankful to Carnegie Mellon and everyone, um, and Habib and, and you, John. And, uh, We, we worked on this film for a number of years. I think we started filming it in 2013, 15. but we met Shaista in 2010, 10, yeah. 10 initially. So we have a friendship that goes back a long time with him. Wonderful. So what, should we, any other thoughts before we watch the film or should we just dive into it? No, I think you can just dive in, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. ما در اول گفتم که فیلم سیاهنگ برای بینظیر یکی از تاثیرگذارترین فیلم در حوزه مستند در افغانستان هست و الان می خوایم دلایلش با شما بازگو بکنم um, at the beginning i said that the three songs for benazir is one of the effective documentary in afghanistan and now i want to say the reasons why uh, حد اکثر فیلم های افغانی نگاه کلیشهی و موضوع داشته اما فیلم سه آهنگ برای بی نظیر نگاه خلاقانه و نگاه بکر به موضوع داشتم که نگاه گلستان مرزایی به فیلم سه آهنگ برای بی نظیر است که عشق را در مقابل پدیده های مانند اعتیاد مانند جنگ مانند مهاجرت قرار داده و عشق را پیروز می سازه. So the three songs for Benazir um, uh, the uh, Mr. Gulistan uh, uh, the directed um, is not a stereotype. All the documentary films in Afghanistan are all stereotype. This is a creative um, 
and it has innovations. It, um, it brought the phenomena of uh, addiction, uh, war, and immigration. Uh, and, say, and he indicated that love uh, wins over war, love wins over addiction, and love wins over uh, immigration. فیلم سه آهنگ برای بی نظیر در قسمت عوامل فنی مانند تدوین مانند کارگردانی و طور کارگردانی شده که از کلوز و کلوزاب و همچنان اکستریم کلوزاب استفاده شده که می خواهد که تأثیر بارز را روی روان مخاطب بگذاره The, um, the, the film uh, three songs for Benazir uh, has used, um, uh, designed and used close up, um, extreme close up, and um, brought effectiveness uh, and will um, bring uh, a lot of uh, effects on the audience. I uh, want to talk about the choice of the Gulistan Mirza Amada Shoyesara به عنوان شخصیت اصلی خود انتخاب کرده. I want to talk about the characters and want to say how uh, Golistan has chosen uh, Shaista as the main character of Three Songs for Benazir. Uh, در قدم اول زندگی هر افغان دراماتیک است. از زندگی هر افغان ما میتونیم کتاب بنویسیم. ما میتونیم فیلم بسازیم. At first step uh, every Afghan uh, life is dramatic. And we can make a documentary uh, for each Afghan uh, who uh, lives uh, has a dramatic life, and you can make a documentary. ما در افغانستان زندگی کردم و ساختار اجتماعی را در افغانستان به تمام معنا میفهمم. Uh, I'm from Afghanistan, and I know the communities and the society and the structure of the society in uh, all meaning and all all ways of life. شایسته از قوم پشتون است که سنتی ترین مردم در افغانستان محسوب میشه. شایسته از پشتون تریب که از یکی از تریب تریدیشنال تریب در افغانستان. قوم پشتون باور داره که هیچ دختری هیچ دختری نباید در رسانه های اجتماعی مانند فیسبوک مانند توییتر و حتی در مقابل in uh, our Pashtun tradition, uh, for any uh, female coming to uh, social media um, and being on TV or being on Facebook or any other social me media is uh, considered a sin. یک مستند سازی کردم در قسمت متون عقیدتی یه بعضی از کتاب ها رو مطالعه کردم در قسمت متون عقیدتی مطالعه کردم و الان برای شما میگیم که چرا uh, I did a research on um, the religious um, uh, on religious and all uh, the um, religious affairs of all uh, uh, different religion uh, in کتا... Afghanistan کتاب به نام بهار الانوار نویسندش مجلسی هست. The book uh, Bahar al-Anwar the, the writer is Majlisi. نوشته است که ای بندگان خدا بدانید که گفتگو و اختلاط کردن با زنان نامحرم سبب نزول بلا و بدبختی می شود. It's written if you talk with a female that is not uh, you are not married with or you are not um, um, uh, you are not uh, is not one of your relatives uh, is um, is bringing a lot of uh, trouble to you and will uh, will be uh, sinful. Well, how can on گفته دیگه ای داریم مگه ابو سلیمان گفته که دختر باکره را هیچ کس جز ولی نمی تواند به عقد کسی در آورد. And uh, there is another uh, another person uh, another nomish uh, abu sulaiman uh, abu sulaiman writes uh, if the a virgin woman uh, should not get married or um, 
we say NACA. When when we do NACA, we uh, we um, we uh, they got married. So it is uh, our religion that NACA in NACA, it's getting married. So is is not no one can uh, um, give NACA for a virgin uh, female. نویسنده به نام جان اسمیت آمده یک کتاب بسیار زیبایی رو نوشته کرده در مورد رسم رسومات عروسی در افغانستان. Another um, writer John Smith. John Smith wrote um, a book about the uh, the culture of Afghanistan. Marriage. The culture and marriage uh, tradition in Afghanistan. در اونجا ذکر کرده میگه که خانواده ها نقش اساسی را در انتخاب زناشویی داره. It, uh, it mentions that the families has the right uh, to marriage. For example, uh, به طور مثال ما میتونیم uh, پدر، مادر، پدر کلان، برادر، ماماها، عمه ها اینها کاملا باید ما زمانی که میخواییم که ازدواج بکنیم نظر نیک اینها را داشته باشیم. So when we get married, father, mother, uncle, father, uh, uh, uncle, uh, aunt, uh, the whole of family, we should get, uh, we should, when we get married, we should get permission from them. الان ما می‌بینیم که شایسته و بی‌نظیر عاشق یک دیگه هستن و در مقابل سنت قبیلوی قطع علم می‌کنن. So we see that shayista and um, um, uh, and bi-nazir um, are getting um, in love with each other and they will stand on that Afghan tradition. در کنار مهاجرت های داخلی که صورت گرفته یکی از دلائل شاید جنگ هدف اصلی باشه اما دلایل مانندی که شایسته برخلاف عقاید قبیله حرکت کرده باعث مهاجرت داخلیشی میتونه که امی مسئله باشه There is one reason of uh, forced immigration for migration for Shaista and Benazir is might be war but another reason is because he is stand up on the tradition of his uh, tribe and uh, he he was forced for migration ma zya sohbat nemekun waqt nist جناب جان روبنس میگه که وقت نیست فقط یک دقیقه من میخوایم که صحبت بکنم گلستان مرزایی و الیزابت مرزایی از سمبول ها به وش احسن کار گرفته uh, I don't want to talk uh, long so uh, I have very short time um, I'm just going to say that uh, گلستان مرزایی and الیزابت مرزایی has used from symbols a lot of symbols uh, به طور مثال آمده کپک جنگی uh, همچنان ما پسری را میبینیم که با تفنگچه بازی میکنه یا دختری که چاقو ده دستشن اینها کاملا بیانگر تاثیر جنگ بالای افکار کودکان در افغانستان شده میتونه uh, like the bird fighting in the in the show and also um, there is a kid with uh, playing with a gun like with a pistol and also um, uh, there is a, a daughter playing with a knife These are all symbols and it shows that there is war in Afghanistan. و یک چیز دیگه ای که زمانی که طفل طفل شایسته تولد میشه اینها با تفنگچه فایر میکنه و چه زشت است که اولین صدایی که ما از طبیعت میشنویم صدای تفنگ واقعا دردناکه. That is the tradition uh, when a baby burns we we shoot uh, fire on the ear so firing uh, with a gun and when the baby is born he is hearing a, a bullet fired so it is it's not uh, nice so it when we are burning we, we are we are feeling the, the war uh dar qismat musiqi man mikhoyam ke sohbat bokonam musiqi she qais isar sakhta ke yak az ahang hay khili mashhoor afghani be nam زندگی آخر سرایت بندگی در کار نیست. So the music direct music was uh, designed by Qais Isar. Yeah. And uh, he was using a very famous song of Ahmad Zahir that life uh, ends but you shouldn't be like uh, uh, you shouldn't be um, uh, br- uh, you shouldn't be uh, I can't remember the name. Um, 
you shouldn't be a slave. So you should end slavery because life is ending. So you shouldn't be a slave. که شاید هدف یک کارگردان امی باشه که وقتی که تمام طبیعت در مقابل خط علم میکنه و تو باید فقط قدرت عشق که در مقابل پدیده های جنگ و مهاجرت و اعتیاد مبارزه میکنه و پیروز میشه و این نگاه نگاه بکر است و زیبایی فیلم همین دمی قسمته And it is, um... very uh, important and they, it, it, it delivered the message that with every phenomenal love is winning. If it is war, if it is immigration, and if it is addiction, it is the, um, the, uh, the love that wins over, over it. Thank you. Thank you. ما سوال از کارگردان محترم دارم کارگردان ها در مصاحبه که با وال استری جورنال داشتن ادعا کرده که این فیلم یک فیلم سیاسی نیست اما ما سمبول های زیاد را میبینیم که تاکید بر سیاسی بودن این فیلم میکنه مثلا بالون را مثلا هلو کپچر را و حتی خیلی دقیق باید بگویم که شایسته در مزاره تریا کار میکنه و ما در پشت سرش با... یا در بگراندش بالون میبینیم آیا این نشان نمیده که با وجود بودن اعضای ناتو تا هنوز اوپیوم یا تریا بحر... کشت میشه تولید میشه مواد مخدر so, um, one of the, with one of the interviews um, Mr. Golestan had with um... Wall Street Journal, they said this is not a political uh, film and it is not uh, touching politics. But I have seen several symbols of politics, like the white balloon, uh, like the um, helicopter. And I have a question that when Shaista was working in the opium field and we see the balloon and it is from the NATO horses, Uh, and uh, is, is that indicates that even the, the NATO was there and the people could um, grow opium? That's my question. Habib Aziz was a thank you. I Habib Jan, we found that in Afghanistan, that is, we have lived in Afghanistan, you see that در بیشتر در کل افغانستان از این بالون و هلیکوپتر یعنی اه 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 یعنی هر روز ما میتونیم در آسمان ببینیم من میخواستم اونمو دنیایی که شایسته زندگی میکنه اونمو رو میخواستم به تشتیر بکشیم دونیا اتون So uh, uh, I and um, he mentioned to Mr. Habib both of us were living in Afghanistan and I lived in Afghanistan And it is our normal life. Uh, whenever we are in, in Afghanistan, we see the white balloon with the, with the camera. We see a helicopter running. And the director wanted to bring the reality and the, the reality of the community that they are living in. So that's why uh, the director um, wanted to show that this is the normal life of an Afghan, ordinary Afghan in Afghanistan. و من اصلا انتظار انتظار نداشتم که شایسته برای نیک زدن تریاق بره و هلمن ولی یعنی من انتظاری داشتم که شایسته برای اردی ملی چی یعنی پذیرفته میشه یا خانواده اجازه میدن که یعنی میتونه در اردی ملی راج سر بود سو آی واز نات اکسپکتینگ شایسته تو گو تو هلمن اند work in the opium field. I, I expected him to go to the national army and work there. Um, I was thinking that it, it, it might happen. Yeah, um, yeah, thank you, Habib, for the question. Um, you know, I think that, as Golasan says, we were trying to show is just like in the background, the reality of the world that Shaista exists in. 
So, you know, we don't like, we didn't go out in search of the balloon, for example, we just looked up and it was right above his house. And um, like the helicopters were constant, like all the time. And, you know, we, there was in the years that we made this film, there were so many um, attacks in Afghanistan, um, in Kabul, like not far from where Shaisa lives. And we weren't interested in filming those realities of Afghanistan. We really wanted to have the film juggle them in the background um, in a subtle way. And should I stop for a sec or I have another thing to add? So who's the talking about? Megan, that we are in the place where we were, we were in the place where we و ما کدام چیزی را نمیخواستیم که واقعا عمود عقب هلیکوپتر تیر می شده ما, ما پشت هلیکوپتر نرفتیم که او را فلم کنیم عمود عقب و هلیکوپتر تیر می شده یعنی خواستیم که واقعیت هایی را که در عمود صاحب بوده عمو را فلم برداری کنیم و این چیز به حساب واقعیت عمونج بوده ما پشت هلیکوپتر فلم فلم پوری نکردیم خود هلیکوپتر اونجا موجود بوده و عمو وقت وقتی بوده که زیاد در عمود سایه که and just the, the last thing is about uh, with the balloon um, and the, the opium fields, um, you know, the, the, the purpose of the balloon for us was really to show the distance. So um, it's, it's really about like how there's this huge um, space between the reality on the ground, the lived experience of people in Afghanistan, and then the people who are making decisions and policies or you know, coming into a country and trying to change things. And there's just no connection or relationship there um, beyond like usually one of um, violence a lot of the time. So the balloon was there just to show that huge gulf. I mean, also it's like this advanced technological contraption that is hovering over a camp where people don't even have running water electricity. So there's just such a vast gulf in these two realities. Uh, I have one more question and then uh, I will keep the floor for questions. I understand that I have in و این مخصوصا در جامعه پشتون محدودیتی بیشتری وجود داره ایره می شناسم واقعا شما به عنوان فیلم ساز چه محدودیت را در هنگام ساختن فیلم سیاهنگ برای بی نظیر متحمل شدید So I know the cultural barriers in, in Afghanistan and I know the cultural barriers in specific tribes of Pashtuns I want to know what barriers you faced during this process حبیب عزیز ما تقریبا سه سال با تقریبا سه سال میشه که با شایسته ما یعنی به عنوان رفیق بودیم یعنی بهتر میدونی که یعنی فارسی زبان با اینا یعنی زود نمیپذیرند من فکر میکنم یکی از دلایلی دلایلی که شایسته خان و خانوادهش با ما بسیار نزدیک شدن و یعنی رفاقت یا دوستی که در طول سه سال بود یعنی ما امو امو و امو روز کمره رو نگرفتم برم بخوام فیلم بگیرم این مدت سه سال گذشت و تقریبا 85 فیصد از کمپ ما رو میشناسه و زمانی که ما کمره رو میگرفتیم برای فیلم میرفتیم میامدن میگفتن که بچه ما مریض است یا از خامید ما ما دیگه فیلم نمیگرفتیم ما یعنی خاص خانوادش هر که مریض بود میگرفتیم برای شفاخانه و من فکر میکنم که چون که اعتباری که بین شایسته و ما و خانوادهش بود و اونا اجازه دادن و اجازه دادن که ما بتونیم چی؟ یعنی فلم بگیریم دیدی شما فراموش بود It was a three years relationship with شایسته until I get to know him and become like a family or become a friend for three years after three years, even when after three years, when I'm going, when I was going to the camp, if someone was sick, I had to take them to the hospital. I was not filming. So it was not an easy process for me to take that film even, uh, even though I was a friend for three years. Well, مخصوصا زمستان زمستان های بسیار 
سردی هست زمستان های کابل برای گرفتن مواد سوخت یا مواد لوجستیکی برای کمپ و وزیر مهاجرین همراهش یعنی با هم نماینده ها یا همون مشر کمپ می رفتیم برای گرفتن کمک و, و یکی ای که رفتن به داخل این کمپ یعنی کار هر کس نیست یعنی باور بکنی شما به دلیل ای که بسیاری از اینا مسلح هستند یعنی حداقل یک پستول دارن یک توپنچه دارن و یعنی اجازه نمیدن که یکی غیر از خودشان داخل این کمپ بیاد و امی که میگم که دوستی و رفاقت باعثی شد که ما بتونم و یکی که وقتی من شاید سر اوکی ببخشید so it is three years um, it is uh, living under a tent in that situation is not easy uh, even we went and met with the minister of uh, immigration to get for winter winter um, uh, support for the for the camp and in that uh, camp uh, under th those tents uh, 90% of the people were um, uh, having a gun either a pistol or something so it was not easy uh, to go there and film it was very difficult it was not an easy job wa barhash wa ba ehtimal dar rafaytun da akhbaram shinide bashe az dakhal ami camp ihtitaf shude yani raftan khabarnagar ya filmsaz yani ittifaq oftade it has that that there there has been kidnapping going on in that camp uh, during that process and there was all on uh, in the news so it was not an easy job va yeki ke barha ma khodmo ba niruhay amniyati mawajeh shudim dalilishi bud ke ona min goftan ke bayad hatman bayad az ma yak ijazanama dashte bashe va ijazanama yam agar ma migreftim ma madbur bidim ba hudud shayad yak 5 nafar askar ya muhafiz داخل کمپ می رفتیم ولی این نشان میداد که یعنی هیچ کس حاضر نبود حتی شایسته با پلیس بریم اونجا ما بخوایم فیلم بگیریم امکانش نبود و وی هاد تو تیک پرمیشن فرام دی پلیس کمیشنرز اند اف اف ایون اف وی گت فایو سولجرز ویت اس اند گو دیر نو ون واز تاکینگ تو اس بیکاز دی ور نات تراستینگ اس سو ایت از بیلڈنگ دی تراست and friendship which made us to make this film. There's any question from the... Hello, thank you for such an excellent documentary. It's very moving. Um, Susan, School of Music, Music Education. I wonder if you could um, talk about the significance of the title of the film. And secondly, are women allowed to participate in the musical tradition of that specific tribe? Uh, you know, two questions. The first one is that you have a film that you have to choose from the title. اگر من صحیح فهمیده باشم بازم دوباره پرسان میکنم و سوال دومشان ای است البته که سوال دومشان آیا امو ترایب یا امو قبیله که ما داریم آیا امو سامانالات موسیقی که دارن میتونن بیان بنوازن دمو منطقه امو آلات موسیقی که موجود است میتونن بنوازن یا نه Uh, if I hear you correctly, you are talking, you are asking about the title of the, the film and then if they could use um, any musical uh, instrument which is from that tradition to, to use it and to... Uh, Megan, do you have the right to say that به حساب بخوانند و یا دمو کلتوری که هستند یا مکلچری که هستند و یا از آلات موسیقی استفاده کنند. Okay. Um, 
So the title was, titles are always tricky for us. And initially the film, I think we just called it Shysta for a while. Um, but that didn't seem to really capture the full reality of the, the story that we were telling. Um, and for us, we, we wanted to have a title that would, um, first of all, like be disarming in some sense. Like generally when you hear films about Afghanistan or stories about Afghanistan, it, the, even the title itself feels like it kind of stands out as something, I mean, it could be like related to war or, or violence in some way or something very heavy and serious. And um, Shaisa is just such a, a poetic um, young man. And we just wanted the title to kind of reflect that, that part of the story and, and to be disarming and kind of, um, I don't know if detonates a strong word, but kind of like explode the kind of stereotype, which is also a strong word, but kind of just like explode these stereotypes that we often have when we think about Afghanistan. You yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to? Yeah. yeah. No, you can talk about the women now. Uh, how do you understand the women translate? خانواده شما مونات با این بندار یا چیش آباز چی میخوانن بین خودشان نه اینکه خارج از او و یا اینکه از طریق CD یا Yeah, I think, I mean, I can just add on to that, that we, so in all our time spending, spending so much time in the camp, um, we didn't really, like women wouldn't participate in music at all, the way that the men did. Like Shaista, that kind of party that they had where they were singing and playing music, that wasn't something super rare. Like that happened quite a bit where they would just like burst into song and you can see that Shaista sings. I mean, the title is a reflection of that. Um, But there is this scene, um, brief moment in the film where some young girls are playing music and dancing and singing. And so it's in that camp, at least, it seems like it reaches a point where then it becomes unacceptable. So those girls were, were young adolescents. And after that point, you know, they're obviously not married yet, although some of them um, probably were already engaged, to be honest. Um, but, there, but then once they reach like a certain age, it's not, it wouldn't be acceptable to do that anymore. So, um, so So in, uh, in what uh, Guliston, Mr. Guliston mentioned is that they have, uh, if the women are gathering together, uh, they can use their own specific songs um, specifically to that. And then they have like music running. Uh, men are not allowed to be in a, a female gathering when they are singing. And uh, uh, Sometimes when they were singing, Miss um, uh, Mirzai was there and he, she was learning, she was talking in Derry, somehow could communicate with them. But uh, Mr. Golestan was not allowed to be in those uh, singing or music parties. Sawal 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 Thank you very much for tonight's uh, event. Uh, I'm curious, what has been the impact on uh, Shaista and Benazir from being in this film? Megan, what has been the impact on Shaista and Benazir from being in this film? What has been the impact on Shaista and Benazir from being in this film? What has been the impact on Shaista and Benazir from being in this film? برای شایسته و فامیلش نشان دادیم معمولا اونا بسیار خوش بودن یعنی ای که فلم ما را خارج از افغانستان مردم دیدن و جایزه هایی که مثلا این فلم گرفته برای اونا یعنی غیر قابل تصور بود یعنی بابر شد که یک فامیل بسیار ساده یک فامیل ساده یعنی 
این فیلم یعنی یک علاقه من داشته و ما خودت ما شما میفهمیم که در افغانستان من بیشتر فیلمی که درست میکنن یعنی بیشتر فیلم ها در مورد پالیتیشن اکتیویست یا آدم های مثلا یک یک سنگر معروف و دو پشت یک آدم معمولی یا فیلم در مورد آدم معمولی بسیار کم است So we send the, the film through WhatsApp to them and inform them about the awards they receive. And they were very happy um, for an ordinary Afghan uh, family um, having a film is something different. Mostly when they are making a film for, uh, from, uh, for Afghan traditions, they, um, they, uh, they have uh, someone very a politician or a famous singer or someone who is uh, Im- important. But this was very, uh, they were very happy. Uh, can I repeat your question? Because you say what, what was their, the impact for them and یعنی چی تأثیری بالای زندگیشان گذاشته یا زندگیشان بالا مالد خطر نیست مشکل ندارن It is about the danger you are talking about or اینا میگن آیا فرصت های برشان موجود بوده فرصت های برشان ساخته شده و برادرشان و امو جامعهشان چی تأثیر تأثیرات گذاشته ای فیلم و چی تغییرات آورده و برادرش ببینی که در, در افغانستان خب فیلم یعنی عمومی نبوده که در تلویزیون نشان داده شده توی پرایویت برش نشان یعنی از طریق واتساب برش نشان دادیم Uh, this this film was not publicly shown in Afghanistan and we sent through uh, WhatsApp. و یکی که چون زمانی که اعلان شد برای برای اسکار بیا نامنیت شده و در اخبار زیاد بود معمولا خبرنگارا کوشش میکردن که باش در ارتباط یعنی همراهش ارتباط بگیرن ولی اینا یعنی خودش یعنی علاقمند نبود یعنی به همراه این شخبار ای صحبت بکنه و دلیلی که امور روز قرار بود یک بندار یا پارتی بگیرن که طالبان نزدیک همین کمپ یک بیس نظامی درست کردن برای امنیتشان so um, the, when it was nominated for oscar um, uh, there was a lot of uh, news that they wanted to interview them but they were not aware they were not ready to have an interview because the Taliban was making a base near their camp. Last question. Yeah, last, last question. question. Thank you both uh, for showing up on the Zoom call. I really appreciate your time. Um, I just wanted to ask, just as artists, did you feel a pressure to accurately describe the experience of the current Afghan people? And did you experience any pushback actually from the community while you were making the film or after it had been released? Megan, thank you for the two of you that you are in the program. And the two of you are in the program. Is there a guy who was in the program that was in the program? یا امو جامعه نقض داشته باشه که شما به با او فیلم خود به اون شکلی که میخواین به حساب باید فیلم برداری کنین آیا کدام مخالفت با شما صورت گرفته ام یا تانکس تانکس فور دی کوشن ام وی سو دی 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 کمیونیتی ام هاد نو ایشو وت اس فیلمینگ بیکاز ایت واز یو نو از ام گولسون سید بیکاز وی هاد نون دم فور سو لانگ دی انوایتد اس into their homes um, to make the film. And we also were um, very careful about, we, we weren't filming, this was a very different documentary than, and, than what our previous film, Layla at the Bridge, that Habib mentioned, which is like, we were just shooting constantly. Like the camera was always rolling when we were with Layla. This film was much more um, measured, I would say. <clears throat> 
in the way that we filmed and in what we chose to film and what we chose not to film. So there was a lot of um, things that we saw in their house that we knew we're not going to film that. We're not going to show that moment. It um, Safety was always um, a priority for, for everyone involved in the film. We didn't want to do anything that would be unsafe for them. And um, we also wanted to make sure that they were okay with the film before it was shown, um, before it premiered at a festival. And also once the film um, was nominated for an Oscar, you know, we had long conversations with Shaista and Benazir about what that would look like. Like, what would that mean? Is it okay for the film or even not even an Oscar? It was like just to be on Netflix. What Netflix, is that? What yeah. does that mean? So it was really just um, having these long conversations about it. And um, just in, in, in terms of your other question, which I think, I apologize if I'm not understanding correctly, but for us, we were really motivated, not motivated, I would say, we were just drawn to tell a story about Afghanistan the way that we experienced it. And so it's, you know, for us, it is this place that there is this backdrop of war happening, you know, all the time, you're, you're living in the middle of it all the time. But there's also the possibility of falling in love, you know, with the person next door to you, just like Shaista and, and Benazir did. And that story is also our story as well, because we fell in love in the middle of a war in Afghanistan. And um, for us, it was just really, it was something beautiful to show the choices that, that you make, like the choice to stand together, the choice to create a family in the midst of so much chaos and the choice to have hope even, even in what seems like really dire circumstances. و من در آخر از همه شما تشکر میکنم از گلستان مرزای الیزابت مرزای پروفیسور جان روبن الکس ویندری و تمام جامعه کارنگی ملون اصات دانشجویان تشکر میکنم که این فرصت به من دادید و من لحظات با شما بحثی داشته باشم uh, I'm thankful to everyone, um, to Golestan, to uh, Mirzai, uh, to Elizabeth Mirzai, and to John, uh, to Wendy, and to the whole uh, community of Carnegie, to give me that uh, opportunity to, to have a discussion with you. I'm really thankful, and I really appreciate your time.